Hi, this is Julian from Pro Tools Expert. I've got some drums here, and I'm going to tidy them up because if you listen to the kicks, they've got some sympathetic ringing from the toms. If I mute those toms, you'll hear. Much tidier. So to make that happen, I'm going to head over into the edit window, and we'll see it's not too busy on these tom tracks. I'm going to hit Command and U to open Strip Silence, and the way this works is it creates clips based on a threshold that you set here. If I bring this slider down, we'll see that just about there, we've got all of those hits. Now, if I keep going too far, we'll start to pick up other stuff as well. But around about here is around about right. If I zoom in, we'll see what happens. What we've got is we've got a selection based on this minimum strip duration, which won't make any difference now. That's only when you first create them. But you can pad the start and the end. Now, I'm going to batch fade to make sure everything's nice and smooth. So I, you can pad the beginning like so. Something like about that will probably work. And then padding the end, there we are. I can come out here and I can just make sure I get all of that decay. I'll come out to here maybe. I'd rather give it too much than too little, but because you're just making edits, if you've missed something, you can go back and you can manually edit it later. Anyway, this is happening to all of those hits, not just that one we're looking at. We just happen to be zoomed in on that one. So if I hit strip, there we are, and we now have all of those tom hits isolated. Now with that selection still there, I'll just hit Command and F, and I'll do a batch fade. 50 millisecond fades front and back should be absolutely fine. I've padded the beginning to make sure we don't chop off the transients. So if we come in here, I'll just come back, and there we go. That's nice. That's uh, faded in, and it's clear of that fade before we get anything else happening. So there we are. That looks like that's going to work. I'll just do exactly the same on the other track. So we'll come back out again, hit Strip, and hit Command and F. There we go. Pop in here, take a look at what we've got. That looks like that's worked. So in that case, if we just come back to the beginning and have another listen. Much tidier. Toms are a little bit loud, maybe. Bring those down. If we get along to the next hits, check those out. And of course, if we don't like what we've got, it's always there available to be manually edited, which is what's so good about using strip silence. Anyway, that's how you do it in Pro Tools.